Hello everybody, it's Danny and Wanda back from uh, Pecan Grove and Deep South Homestead, both for this particular video, because basically it's going to be engulfing both places. Now, what we want to do is I want to show you, I've put one of these uh, Vigo garden beds together. Uh, we worked with the company and uh, they was able to, we were all able to come to the, a good agreement on some things. And guys, I'm not gonna lie to you. I was a little skeptical up front, but after getting this thing here and actually working with it, I'm blown away by it. Now with the Vigo raised garden beds, uh, we, they have multiple things you can choose from. We chose uh, the 10 in one modular raised bed uh, that's 17 inches high. And there's a reason for the 17 inches high. Over at Deep South Homestead, we have Wanda's high tunnel, and in her high tunnel, we built 11 inch high raised beds in that. Well, over the years that we've owned it, we realized that 11 inches high, really, uh, it dries out too quick. There's not enough nutrition in the soil at 11 inches high and two foot wide to sustain plants year after year after year. So. We went with the 17 inches high, plus we have the little benches that you sit on and the little tractor seat thing you roll around on. This is really the right height for us. Now you can get them in three different heights. You can get them in 11 inches high, 17 inches high, and 32 inches high. And if you have disabilities and you need 32 inch high ones, then that would be perfect for you. Now, uh, this thing comes with a like a 20 year life expectancy. And the reason for that is is the coating that's on it. It has a very durable coating on the inside that is a fertilizer, doesn't seem to hurt it. It is a agricultural paint that is food safe. Uh, it has a, uh, another coating on the inside of that. And then there's the, the, the steel that's on the inside of that. And then you have another coating on the outside here that is uh, weather resistant and it was, uh, comes in several different colors. We chose the olive green for ours. Now you can choose whichever color that you wish. And after doing some research, this particular uh, mixture that's on this metal is actually more hardy than zinc, like a zinc coating, like a, a cattle water barrel or anything like that. It's actually more hardy than all of that, and it has more of a life, longer life expectancy. Now, we chose, with the, the Vigo garden bed, the two and a half foot wide by nine and a half feet long uh, for our design that we want to use, because that uses all 12 pieces of it. There's, it comes with 12 pieces per box. That uses all 12 pieces. And it gives us a bed so that if I'm right here working, I can reach all the way across this bed. You know, I mean, it, if I was younger, uh, the wider beds might be more appealing to me, but we're Wanda and I's age, we kind of like the fact that we can reach across the two foot, two and a half foot wide bed. Now it also comes with two stabilizers that go in the middle of it here. There's one here and one here. Um, it's not a hard product to put together. Now, I, I don't know this part here for sure, but from putting the screws in it and being in the construction business for many, many years, I believe these are stainless because they're very, they're kind of a soft screw with the, with the equipment that we use to put it together with here, which tells me they're probably stainless. And if they are, that's just another plus to the Vigo Garden bed. Now, another thing I liked about it is it came with this rubber uh, vinyl coating thing that slips over the top edge of this bed so your arm's not laying on a sharp metal edge on the top of it. I really appreciated that part of it, you know, on, on it there. Now, they, it comes with a long enough piece to reach around every configuration that they have on it. Now, another thing I liked about this is the top two rows of screws and, and nuts, these have the caps on them, so there's no danger of your arm hitting against the edge of the threads on something 
Uh, here everything is smooth. You don't have to worry about hurting yourself. And it's the top two around all of them. Uh, I, I really liked that about it also. Now overall, the way this thing went together, I'm very satisfied with it. Uh, now let's, uh, let's take a walk over to the box on the picnic table here. And let's look at a few other things about the Bego garden beds. Okay, now here we are. This is what I was telling you about the food safe agricultural paint on it here. The patented zinc alloy coating and then a steel substrate underneath that. And of course it has the same thing on the inside and outside. Now, one thing I want, I, I liked what I looked at right here as I was reading on the box. It says it's extremely corrosion and resistant. Lab tested provides four to six times more durable than the alizinc and galvanized steel. This was very important to me here in the south. Super heat reflection maintains optimal soil temperature. Another thing for healthy soil, this leach is no harmful substance leaching into it. Loved that. And then the simple fact that it's recyclable. It's made from 100% green material um, in the process. Now, also, this is the 10, and we can show you a diagram here. Here of a, These are the 10 configurations. We chose this particular one right here the 34 cubic foot one for our, you know, for our uses here. They have multiple other ones that you can, that you can choose from. And we'll give you a, uh, a video clip right here of the actual beds and everything. Now you can also follow uh, the Vigo Garden beds on these social medias here. Uh, Facebook, you got Vigo Garden, and then the other ones are on Instagram and other places. Uh, and then it, what I like about it, it also gives, it gives you on the box, it gives you a list of the things that are in it and how much of each particular one that's in it. Now, let's take a look at how it's packaged here. Now, I haven't opened this one, actually. It's just been, it's packaged up just like it was. Uh, what I like about it is here, all your hardware is in this one particular box right here. And on the outside of this, it shows you how the screws go in it where you can use the capped nuts like I told you or the open nut that's on it. Plus it gives you a list of everything that's in this here. Now it does come with its own socket wrench that for the nuts on this you will have to provide yourself with your own Phillips head and, in, and I believe it's a P3 Phillips head that actually comes in the pack. Now in here you'll have two sets of rods. You have rod A and you have rod B. Rod A is for the two and a half foot wide beds. Rod B, you will use all of these together for the four and a half foot or for the four foot wide beds. Now, a couple of things I want to mention here that uh, this thing here Oh, uh, it's not on this side of it, but it's on the other side of it. It mentions it's a 45-minute job. It took me about an hour, a little bit more an hour, to put that one together by myself. Now, I did not have a really level surface to work on. And the fact that I have a bad knee, I couldn't get down to put it on. So what I did was I set my sawhorses up, and I took two long boards and put on those sawhorses and I laid the panels down and I bolted them all together and, and it really worked out well doing it that way for me and it took me a little over an hour and something by myself. But if you're young enough and you can get down and you got a level concrete pad to work on, you could probably put it together in 45 minutes with a drill, a drill gun and that rat, a socket system that comes with it. Now, I'm sure this is not included in the 45 minutes uh, because I didn't expect this when I actually took it out, but I think it's a, gr a great idea, is when I take one of these out of here, if I can get it out, let me say that. Let's take the whole thing out. That's pretty heavy. That's solid steel. These things come with a protective coating on it right here. You have to peel, and trust me, peel it off of everything here before you start. Make sure you get it, I mean, it's, it's stuck. Stuck really good. It's not, it's not that hard to take off. But 
what this does is this protects this from getting scratched up or anything like that during shipping or anything like that. But, and I'm pretty sure taking all that off there is not included in the 45 minute uh, installation of it. But make sure you take all that off before you actually begin to, uh, to put it together. Now, I get that up, make sure I get this away. There we go. Now it comes with four pieces, a particular length. It comes with four more that's about five inches longer. And then you have four uh, corner pieces here. And when you're putting this thing together, I learned uh, when I was putting it together, you don't want to tighten all your bolts down at the exact same time. Like you don't want to put one bolt in, tighten it down, put one bolt in, tighten it down. Where you have a panel, like I just showed you here, across this, let me get them back out of there. I'm going to show you. When you have a panel here, what you want to do is you're going to bring these panels out and you're going to line up these holes right here. And what I found best for me to do is I put one bolt up here and I put one bolt down here. And I had this laying on some two by fours and then I come back and I put my other bolts in and you have to remember by the diagram there's some of these bolts you don't put in because of that rod the stabilizing rod that goes across it so whichever figure you use make sure you choose the one and leave out the, the bolts that has that rod in it so it's very easy to line these things up they all line up and another thing I'm just going to give you a little bit of secret here something I learned uh, maybe I can get this here. I'll try to give people as much information as I can. When we're putting these together, what I've done, and it seemed to help me, and it may help you out. When I'm having, I'm not having that level to lay this on. But uh, when you when you line a hole up like that right there, you see how that hole is perfectly in line. I put my bolt in it, and I went ahead and put my washer in my nut and tightened it down. And I come all the way over to the other side and I line that one up perfect. And I put my nut and bolt in it and tightened it down. Well, when you tighten this one and the one on the other side, these are automatically perfectly in line. Then you can just drop them in and you can go ahead and tighten them. So that was kind of a little bit of a time saver for me. Okay, we would like to first of all thank Vigo Garden Beds for working with us on being able to get these raised beds here in a timely fashion. Now we don't have the high tunnel quite finished but we're working on it to get it there and hopefully by planting season we'll be able to have it all done. Now Wanda and I, you know, we're, we like to think outside the box. One of the things we thought about was the deer pressure is so high here at Pecan Grove that our garden in the background down here, you can see in the background down here, you see the white fabric and the raised beds and all down there. We have to keep that white fabric on there because that's our carrots and our cabbages and stuff. And if we don't take if we take it off, the deer will eat it off, it'll eat it up at night. So Wanda and I actually come up with the idea that we could actually plow a row in the garden down there, and if we wanted to plant something, we could plant it pick these raised beds up because they're not that heavy. Two people can pick it up really easy and set it down over it and actually put some wire across the top of it and let the, let the vegetables grow inside that. Um, things like if you had like snap beans or cucumbers or cabbages or broccoli, you know, whatever that grow don't grow over 17 inches high, you could... Uh, you could put wire over the top of that and it would still get the sun, it would still get the rain, and the deer could not get in there to be able to uh, eat your plants off. So we're actually looking at them to be used in that aspect also uh, as a raised bed uh, protector for our garden vegetables. Now, um, I'd like to just reiterate the 10 different configurations this one is 17 inches in height, 20 year life expectancy, 45 minutes to assemble, 
a hunt, this is the important part to us too, it's 100% recyclable material that's with it there. Um, I, guys, I'm telling you, uh, you, you got an assortment of colors to choose from. We chose, well, it's, it's hard to see it here, but it's the olive green. You can see it there. We, we chose the olive green. And I think that it's going to work out really, really good for us here at Pecan Grove because of the simple fact, like I mentioned, we got a new high tunnel going up. We're going to be doing all of our gardening here at Pecan Grove this year. We're letting Deep South rest this year. I think that this, once we get them filled with soil, is going to be the way for us to garden at our age in the future here at Pecan Grove. So once again, I want to thank Vigo Garden for working with us and getting these raised beds here. And guys, I want y'all to stick with us. I want you to come along because this company is not a new company. This is an older company. And I know y'all, uh, somebody out there is going to throw this at me. It's not American made. Well, let me, let me tell you something. 90 something percent of all the products that you purchase are not American made. And the reason I say this is because the steel that's used inside anything now, whether it's a high tunnel, well, it, don't, it doesn't matter, probably comes from a foreign country because we just sold our last steel factory here in the United States to Japan. And I'll give you a for instance, when Wanda and I built the farm all barn over at Deep South Homestead, we were waiting for months for them to get this barn. And I, eventually we just got tired of waiting and we went to them and said, look, what is the hold up? And they said, well, it's the metal. You chose a green roof to match the, the off-grid cabin. And it's on a boat sitting in the ocean on the other side of California. And they can't get it unloaded. So I told them, I said, look, can you just do galvanized? And he said, sure, we got galvanized because that has already come through. But the painted metals take longer to get here. And I told him, I said, look, just do galvanized. So... Even back then, the roofing to go on my farm all barn came from a foreign country. Most all metal the United States gets now comes from a foreign country somewhere. So, guys, the old adage of it's made in China or it's made in Taiwan or it's made in Indonesia. Look, we have a global economy now. And that doesn't keep this from being a good product just because it's made in a foreign country. I wanted to just address that for those of you who's going to throw something out there. Um, it's still a good product. Well, guys, we're back over here at the raised bed. I want to thank Beagle Garden once again for working with us on uh, getting these raised beds. And guys, I want y'all to stick with us and see the different ways that we use these, the different plants that we grow in them, uh, how we mix the soil to go in these because I'll more than likely have to have an 18-wheeler bring some soil out here and dump me an 18-wheeler load of soil. Uh, we don't have anywhere where we live at to, to buy compost. That just don't exist. Uh, so we'll get, some, we'll get some soil brought in here and we will do our own mixture. We will take you along just like we did on the container beds, uh, containers out here in the front uh, on the soil that we mixed in them and we will do a soil test on these we'll show you when we put the mixture in here we'll do the soil test from uh, grower solutions and we'll show you the analysis of the soil that we end up with in these raised beds and that way you can uh you can stick along with us and you can see the productivity of this and see if it's something that you're interested in because i have before we even thought about these, I've told you guys the future of gardening is going to be in high tunnels, greenhouses, and raised beds and containers because of what's coming. Now, uh, I'm excited to get these together and to get them in the high tunnel. And guys, one of the things, I will mention this I want, before we go any further, 
I am going to put three foot wide hardware cloth underneath the bottom of these before we put them down. The reason for that being over here at Pecan Grove, I've noticed we have a mole or a vole or some kind of problem with critters under the soil. And I'm going to try to put this hardware cloth in there to keep mice, moles and voles and all that from coming up from the bottom. So if you have a problem with those things, that's something that you might want to consider if you get one of these raised beds is to put the hardware cloth down before you put the soil. And another thing that we're going to probably be facing here in the deep south, and you may face it also, is fire ants. We want to see how the imported fire ant reacts to this, uh, to this coating, see whether they try to build beds up in them to get out of the ground. I mean, there's, there's a lot of unknown variables here for us um, in using these. And that's why we want y'all to follow along with us because we want to show you the experiences we have. And it possibly will help you out with the experiences that you may experience. And maybe you'll be able to, uh, maybe we can learn from you and you can learn from us. You can leave us comments about what you do and we can show you what we're doing here at uh, Pecan Grove. So thank you guys once again from Deep South Homestead. All right, guys, be sure to check out our exclusive link in the description down below for the Vigo Garden Beds.